what is up you guys welcome back to my channel thank you so 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 much for watching and from the title of the video you already know what kind of video this is so I'm going to get away with my sister we can get away from my sister and um, my hair is in a mess and I need to do something with it as soon as possible so yeah girl what you DIY self decided to do some jumbo box braids in my hair at home um, I'm not showing you all how to do it I'm just showing you how I did it because I am not a professional and this is the very first time that I am trying this um, doing my hair is not new to me I do a lot of things for myself as I mentioned in previous videos so yeah so today I'm just going to put some jumbo box sprays in my hair and this didn't cost me much at all um, so what I'm doing is just parting my hair using the kids smooth edges because it was last minute this is all the cosmetic store had so I had to use this um, my hair is natural at this point because I haven't relaxed my hair in a while it is damaged and natural <laughs> because I wasn't taking care of it to be honest so I parted my hair and I'm using the edges the jam control to to, um, to lay down the edges in my hair, right? To lay down the, to get a smooth finish, to lay down the, what I'm trying to say, the flyaways and so on because my hair is natural as I said. So, sorry for that noise. Um, so yes, I am applying this to my hair to give it a neat, sleek look and as mentioned, I'm using the rubber band method, which is the easy method to use. So here I am trying to tame these this stubborn hair. Um, but the good thing about doing this for yourself is that you can control how tight you want it, right? So what I bought is a pack of braids, and um, I have braids from before. So I just mixed both and a bottle of jam slash edge control, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I'm just neatening up the hair here before I put the rubber band in it. And my, my edges are not as smooth as I would like it to be. But as I said, I haven't relaxed my hair in a while, so this would work for me. And here I am putting the rubber band black rubber band and I am just tying this the amount of times that I want I don't like my hair too tight so um, this would be good for me and I just repeated this through my entire head until I was finished okay and you all can see I have a ball spot there I think that was from a long time ago I had braids in my hair and pull out my hairline but I haven't been really taking care of my hair but nevertheless I'm going back on a hair journey very soon um, I usually do a lot of things with my hair so it really doesn't I don't really fuss too much about it <laughs> but whatever um, so yes here I am again applying jam a lot of jam y'all I put a lot of jam in my hair to give me that slickness Yeah, because I wanted it to look like good. And um, again, I'll be putting the rubber band in it, comb it out, give it a little smoothening with the brush, and again, rubber band.
going to uh, I am going to take the hair out of the pack right and I bought one super X braid in color 613 and as I said before I have some old braids home that I just mixed um, with it so I use the new pack to the top and to the back I use the old ones okay so for a hairstyle like this you don't want to put like too little bit of braid so you want to use enough to give you that thickness okay so I brushed out the ends of the braids just to feather it out a bit so it wouldn't be too like how it came into the braids like how it came into the pack right so it would give me that fullness so Did brush brush to comb it out and here I am now what I'm going to do is simply just taking the piece of hair and putting it around the rubber band and my hair is short so I used my hair as one of the piece to plait in so to plait you need three pieces of hair so the two were the braids and one was my hair and I, st I started the plait and along the way I just blended my hair with a piece of the braid right and um, it just came together and I just continued this y'all this took me so long I spent the entire night I started at um, probably 4 p.m. and I finished literally 1 o'clock in the morning and yeah the next day I had to dip my hair in the hot water to see the ends of the bruise because I was so tired but nevertheless I enjoyed my weekend stay with my sister sister Keisha it was her birthday weekend and I enjoyed every part of it and um, yeah so this is an easy at home hairstyle to try and um, it's very, it cost me literally nothing, <laughs> you could say, probably $50 if so much for a hairstyle like this. And um, it was not tight because I was able to control how tight I wanted.
y'all I was able to move my plaits left right up down around and I currently still have this hairstyle in my hair the front is a bit roundful right now because as I said my hair is natural so but that's okay Coachella is looking fine for me for the moment so I hope you enjoyed this video guys and um, until next time I'll see you in my other video thank you so so much for watching people and do not forget to like share and subscribe Bye, people!